editing Colleen here so when I was doing this video I actually had like an opening bit to do a little bit of explaining at the first curl but for some reason that video won't let me play it so I'm just gonna start it off where it kind of starts which might be a little bit confusing for the first few seconds but then I go into explaining so enjoy this video and let me know what you think in the comments so as you can see it's kind of come out and it'll stay in like a little twist until I brush it out at the end and this will help it just set in place so for a second or two for a minute or two now i'm just going to play it in real time as i'm blow drying my hair so i took down the next section and i'm actually going to half it just so there's less to work with so i'm just going to let this play in real, real time because i know for me when i'm learning to do something i'm more practical and like a visual rather than someone over explaining it to me um and if you want me to over explain it for you let me know and i can do another one explain a little bit more but i know for me i'm just doing it and i just kind of watch someone and then i'll do it on myself and i'll fail the first 12 times but then the 13th time it will look better so it's just one of those things that you really have to get better at and of course if your hair is a different length to mine a different texture a different thickness it's going to be different as well but i can do like a video about different hair types and uh, tips for like straightening it or curling it or blow drying it if you want me to do one uh, let me know So I'm just going to do two more here on this front section and then I'm going to come back with this half because I hold the hair dry differently and it might help you with it while doing your own hair. So I'm just going to do two more here the exact same and not record it so this video isn't too long. So I'm going to leave this little top section of my hair to do at the other side with the rest of my hair. So we're going to take this down, put this out of the way. Again, you just want to give it a good brush out. Get your first section. This side of my hair is a little bit thicker, so it does take an extra couple of minutes to do. It's kind of awkward to do it like this, so put the hair in and I put the nozzle like this. I hold this side of the hair dryer and I brush down, brush down, and then I'll just twist, twist, twist until I get it up to the top, heat, and then twist out. Okay, so I'll do a couple just so you can see, but it's the exact same. I'm just holding the hair dryer like this. A good tip is before you start, do a little practice to see where you want the nozzle to be, because at different points you'll need to turn where the nozzle is facing to make it a little bit easier.
I do have a couple of baby hairs there, as you can see, that kind of don't play ball every time, but I don't really care too much about them because they're kind of underneath and it's new baby hairs growing in and it's one of them things I don't want to use too much heat on them so next section is from back here and we're just gonna do the exact same process So I'm gonna do the rest off camera and then come back to do the front. One thing I haven't mentioned that I think is probably a good tip is you wanna feel a little bit of a pull on your hair, like a little bit of a pull on your root. Not crazy, not painful, but just like a little tug. That's what you need to feel. So I'll come back to do the front. So all the back is going. So you can see it and now we're going to do the front section more hair than i normally have but we're just going to roll with it so the first thing i'm going to do is get my hair dryer and brush down a couple of times like that just to get um the smoothness in and then we're going to turn it the other way but i'll show you in a second Sometimes I need to go back over and do my front pieces because I have my curtain bangs growing out. Okay, so the back is all cooled down because it's been in a couple of minutes. Do is I'll go in with my hands first and give it just like a little shake out and I'll flip over. Kind of hard to see in my phone screen. So then we're gonna get a brush give it a nice brush out so it kind of looks it's like smoother I like the way the front came out normally I always have to go over it but today I think I'm cool that I'll turn around so you can see the back if you want to at this point you can put a little bit more serum in I'm not going to just because I want to keep the weight or the volume in it as much as I don't want to weigh it down with anything. But if you've like thick curly hair, it's probably a good idea to put a little bit of serum in. Yeah, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.